I'm, I'm really looking forward to this conversation. Um, and because I think each of you, I know each of you have, uh, have a, an interesting history and, and just what you've, what you've seen from this understanding and the time you've been connected with it. And I love seeing people like yourselves uh, be touched by this and just be so inspired to go out and start creating and sharing, not needing it to be perfect, not needing it to be any certain way, but just feeling that spark and then like letting that be, you know, something that moves you forward into sharing in any way that makes sense. And I know you've done a lot of that. So, um, so yeah, I'm excited to, to chat. So, um, so maybe Shalia, we'll start with you and just tell listeners a little bit about who you are and kind of how you, how you came across the principles. Mm-hmm. So I'm Shelia and um, it's an unusual name. A lot of people don't know how to pronounce it. It's like shell on the beach with the, the German ya ja on the end. That's the easiest way. My grandmother used to say Shelia. I come from <laughs> the South, <laughs> I'm originally from Florida and I've been living in Germany for about yeah, 25 years this Christmas, which is crazy. Wow. Um, I actually studied to be a teacher in the U.S. I wanted to be a math teacher. I came from a small town where there were just not a lot of um, other jobs. And it was kind of the thing you looked up to do. And when I got over here, they said, you can't do it. You have to um, train all over again. It won't be accepted. So I needed a way to stay with my then boyfriend, now husband. And so his uncle helped me get into um, marketing. He had a PR company. And so I started there 25 years ago in online marketing. And I did a pretty long career in online marketing advertising. And I was a pretty high performance person, um, which basically means I was always trying to be the best of the best in my in my job in my career uh climb the career ladder um, have the best idea for the next campaigns and in general i was a pretty sunny natured person um always the bubbly one in the office the positive motivator the go-getter type of person and what i though wasn't showing on the outside to the world was I had a lot of turmoil going on on the inside, which meant for me that I would work all day and all night and come home and literally just fall apart. And when I say fall apart, I mean, I would suddenly start to have anxious thinking. Um, I would have um, chronic pain. I had four years of almost just terrible um, pain in my left side of my body where I couldn't sleep. I would have um, a burnout, a depression, um, just always something going on with my health or my mental capacity that I wasn't really, I didn't talk to anybody about it. Nobody at the office, none of my colleagues, my clients knew about it. And looking back, it was so, such, a, such a simple misunderstanding but I didn't know about it. And I didn't, I didn't find out about it until 2015. I stumbled across this understanding. Um, at some point I, I left the agency because I thought that's what was my problem. <laughs> you know, not me, <laughs> not my thinking, but that. And I started my own business um, as a coach and did to coach training and, and started an online business. And one of my mentors was Nicola Bird. And she was all about the higher, faster, further in your online business, work from home in your pajamas. And she was really actually stressed out too, but she wasn't showing it on the outside either, really with panic attacks and agoraphoria and all that kind of stuff. And I knew her really well because I had been also working in the back of her online business for a while. And she started to change. She went from this really just... I guess you would say in English, she was just feel like she was being pushed and pushed and pushed the whole time forward to this just calmness and this peace of mind, which is her, her brand now. Like she does this understanding under that. And I, I saw something was different in her, something extremely different. She did like a 180 degrees and I didn't know what it was, but I felt like whatever she has, I want that. And so I asked her, like, why are, 
what are you doing? What have, what have you seen or like what is different? And she started pointing me in the direction of the three principles, which ended me up on a training in Oslo in Norway with George and Linda Pransky. And my first moment of insight was just sitting in that seminar room and George said something to the effect of, one of the most stressful things you can do as a human being is to constantly think about how you're doing in life. And I let that sit with me for a moment, but it wasn't until like the evening and the next day that I just kind of suddenly woke up to it and to that misunderstanding that I had. I was thinking about myself and how I was doing in the world constantly, constantly, constantly. And it was a huge weight on my shoulder. And when I saw that for the first time, and I started to wake up to the fact that I don't have to think about myself all the time. It just opened a little bit of space for all the next things that came after that. Yeah. I love that. It's, um, it makes me think I always uh, talk with younger people and remember myself and my early 20s, mid 20s, even late 20s, like just kind of getting your life started. And I think in that time, at least for me, like I was on my mind all the time. <laughs> and it, it's not, it's, obviously it's not because of the age, but there is something about when you're doing things in life, you know, and it's like, oh, what am I going to do? And how is this going to go? And everyone's asking you, what are you going to do with your life? And, and so I can just feel that again, that can happen at any age, but like just that pressure. And I just talked with someone recently too, for the, on the podcast about that feeling of going to work and just feeling on you know, that, you know, that feeling of just being on all the time and how exhausting that is Mm -hmm. and how then we come home and we, we need to do something to shut off. And what do we do? And if we're not doing anything, we have your experience where you're still just (laughs) on, you know, and running like crazy, but it, it, oh, it takes such a toll. So we'll, we'll come back to some of that, but I I love that in your story. Thank you. Um, Leah, do you want to say a little bit about, about your experience? Yes. So I'm Leah and I'm from Switzerland and um, I'm German speaking uh, native. So English is um, not my first language, obviously. Um, I was kind of the opposite of Shelia in a, in a way the same but also totally different I was looking inside the whole time I had um, this growing up and I was quite a happy child even though a lot of things were happening like divorce and uh, uh, stepmothers and stepfather and uh, uh, new siblings and, and a lot of things changing all the time but I was in it and I was quite a happy child and I really love to connect with other people and um, having fun and be playful and then in my like late teens or beginning of when I was around 20, 21 I really started to think that I have to be more intellectual like really think about stuff deeply and then I started to feel as if I had like a really heavy and difficult childhood and I started to dig into it and it got worse actually Mm. and what happened was that I felt Hmm. hopeless at times because I I couldn't figure out what was hmm, causing my anxious feelings or the stress or the the worries I I had in waves but quite intense I I felt um, all things intense and somehow I wanted to 
have solutions for all these feelings I couldn't figure out. And my solutions were sometimes drinking too much or eating too much or shopping too much, kind of this over as you were talking about in, during the holidays. Mm. And I, I was just, um, I, I was aware that it was happening, but I couldn't stop myself doing it, even though I, I kind of knew that it has to do me, with myself and my feelings and that I didn't want to have them. And so I tried everything I could find out there. Mm. 